Good evening. This is Tina. How are you doing? Uh, this video we're gonna talk about router class. Um, router class you can it's uh, an another extra dot js file which is used to uh, contain uh, only middlewares and the routes. Okay, and uh, you can consider it as a mini express application. So what is a route used for? Suppose in our application, the app.js file, okay, currently we only have app.js file, right? Suppose we have thousands of different requests, which handle different requests means different URL needed to serve the response, right? And then if we using this way, like we did in last video, we have to keep adding app.gate, app.post, keep adding. Then our app.js file will become very giant. It's not good for testing, it's not good for maintain, and it's not very efficient when we work as a group, okay? And uh, it's not very uh, modularized, okay? So what uh, uh, router comes, router class is to help to resolve this kind of issue. Suppose for this, a home page everyone can access but for this two only admin can access then this is uh, uh, those functions are uh, have a role kind of like a role based then we can separate them in different or should I, in different router okay which you handle for different uh, requests okay and uh, one thing Keep in mind, in route class only contains middlewares and routes. So here, like uh, we you uh, here, oh, we don't have the configurations. Like uh, in uh, other, we might have configurations that is uh, mostly done in middlewares. Uh, mostly done in app.js, not in the routes. But uh, for con this one is not uh, configuration, okay? This one is uh, also middleware, like uh, say, uh, like what? Uh, uh, enable e tag those, okay? Set for environment variable, set for current environment, it's a dev, it's a production, all those. Those are the configurations. So now let's separate these three, okay, routes, okay, or three, uh, what's, what should I say, uh, HTTP routes, okay, into two files. The first part is going to be called the admin. The second one we can call uh, shop, okay, or we can call user, okay. So to better organize the code for the route, routes, we have a routes folder, and then we have a file for admin.js, okay? And uh, how to have a route class ready? First, uh, we still need to require express. And the second, from the express, we can get the router, okay? That, uh, 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 router, okay? And when you create router, you can have other uh, optional settings here, which is like, uh, I want to do case sensitive routing you can do here add a key value pair which is just grid object and after you do you have to using module dot exports module dot exports this router and after that we can copy these two files 
Ah, uh, sorry. These the, 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 these two routes, okay. These two routes. Delete and copy here. And uh, no longer use app. We don't using app. We just using router instead. And now this admin.js is only sit there alone. Okay, no one can reach it now. So we have to tell inside the app.js, I have to tell using this uh, router class to do the routing for different requests. How to do that? First, we have to get this router first. How to get that? Using require. Okay. Uh, which called admin routes equals require and uh, dun, dun, which uh, d routes d admin and then how to use that using app dot use okay app dot use uh, admin routes okay now we are done so here let's test if everything works okay i guess something is not working okay i will show you the error you will see fs is not found because after i copy to here i using fs i using path but i didn't have instance for that here so we have to copy these two and put it here okay now with node moon, it's gonna restart and we go here. Oh, it's still crashed. Let's take a look at what happened. No such file. Ah, the problem is uh, previously when we're using path.join dr name views, because this dr previously represent day five. So we can go inside the view, we can go inside to add product. But now, when I uh, in the admin.js file, right? Admin.js file is inside the routes folder. Okay, so DRR re name represent a routes folder. So how to get the file which is add product? We have to get out from routes, go to day five, then go inside. So between them, we have to add dot dot slash. Okay. And then let's uh, render USC and book price and the good and submit and save successfully. And this is what we just put it now. Okay, so this is the one. And uh, let's do another one for practice for this one. Okay, so now we add another routes. Let's call shop.js. Okay. <clears throat> we shop dot js we just oh sorry we first have to get the routes okay express equals require express and the next is to get the router right and how to get that express dot router and don't forget to export okay Okay, and uh, after that, we copy this thing and put it here. And um, remember to change this one to be router. Okay, I I really want to change this one to be a get <laughs> because we so far we only using get. Okay, I just leave it now. Okay, so then now shop.js is stand alone no one is no one can reach it so we have to inside the app.js to tell to use this shop.js how to do that still the same const shop routes equals require okay uh, this is okay routes slash shop okay and after that, we're using app.use shop routes. Okay. And let's test after we are done. And we go to add the product. We didn't we just check a slash. It works. Okay.
And uh, another benefit of using this router class, okay, is suppose for admin, all the URL, all the router URL in admin is, is like this, admin slash add product slash admin add product. Suppose I have another one, okay, like this one is a delete product, uh, 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 edit product. Okay, and I have another one, which is uh, uh, edit product, but it's a post. And I have another one, which is a, a post for delete product. Okay, let me remove those, okay. And we can do other, the other function function that we will add later, okay. So now you can see, for all the URL, okay, the path here, we all have admin. This is kind of tiring to have admin in all of them. So to do that, there's another easier way, which is we don't add here, okay. Instead, we can add inside our app.js. Here, we can give an optional path, which is admin. Okay, then after we do that, it's the same if I want to uh, access this uh, slash app add product, I have to use the URL slash admin slash add product. Same for this one, I have to use admin slash edit. And same for this one and all of them. So you don't need to add slash admin in every um, route, router in this uh, uh, router class. Okay, so now after doing that, let's do a test. Now the add product shouldn't work because we add a uh, admin here. It should start with admin, then the URL inside this uh, admin JS. Okay, so we have to add a slash admin and slash you will see successfully and a 660 good okay you good and then submit and save successfully you you didn't save successfully this one cannot post okay and what's the problem the problem is here Oh, you, you still see the URL. It goes to slash add product. Here, we also need to change it to be admin slash add product. Okay. So let's go back. Uh, admin, uh, admin add product. Okay. And then we give title, book, price, and good. And submit. It will save successfully. And you see the... Uh, information of the form is being processed successfully by the body parser. So that is uh, the router class, okay? Okay, so if you still have any other questions about route class, uh, you can leave a comment. Uh, I will try my best to answer, but uh, probably I can, if I, normally I don't check the comments, okay? If I see your comments, I definitely will reply, okay? So thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.